President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency Mr. Cyril Matamela Ramaphosa, Minister of Justice and Correctional Services, Mr. Ronald Lamula, Minister of Sport, Arts and Culture, Mr. Natim Tetwa, Premier of the Eastern Cape Province, Mr. Oscar Mabuyane, fellow South Africans. I greet you all on behalf of the South African Human Rights Commission. Today is Human Rights Day, a day on which the nation reflects on and takes stock of the progress achieved in our efforts to promote, develop, and protect human rights in our country. On this day, we also commemorate the 1960 Sharpeville massacre, in which more than 60 unarmed black people were shot and killed by the apartheid police during a protest march against the oppressive and undignified past laws. The South African Human Rights Commission recently marked its 25th anniversary as an important milestone towards a culture of human rights. The Commission is today a leading champion of human rights. It has both national and international recognition as one of the leading national human rights institutions in Africa and the world. I played a, it played a leading role in the establishment of the network of African human rights institutions and the global alliance of national human rights institutions. The 25 years in protecting, promoting, and monitoring the attainment of human rights have taken many types of interventions. The Commission has been involved in strategic litigation at all levels of courts, including the Constitutional Court, in ensuring that human rights are upheld by the state, the private entities, and ordinary persons alike. The Commission has reached out to communities in various ways, through personal contact, through digital platforms, and the media, to spread awareness of rights and how these rights can be exercised. Corruption is one of the greatest threats to our democratic order. It is high time that the government walks the talk and takes stiffer action to deal with corruption head on. The commission calls upon our leaders and all public servants to follow in the example of Charlotte McLeague and bring back ethical leadership that is centered on serving the people of our nation. We call upon the government to take decisive steps against unethical and corrupt leaders and public servants. A lot still needs to be done in order to fulfill constitutional rights and change the lived experiences of millions of South Africans. The constitutions, laws and policies provide the government and society in general with tools to meet these challenges. It is incumbent upon the state to partner with all social role players in our society to address the triple threat of poverty, unemployment, and inequality in an effort to create a better socioeconomic order, which in turn will lead to a better life for all. During Human Rights Month, the Commission will be hosting and participating in numerous activities in all provinces with other relevant st stakeholders and strategic partners and joins the government in the commemoration of National Human Rights Day. The Commission further calls upon everyone to do their part so as to ensure the realization and enjoyment of rights by all. Thank you.